What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. We're back playing a little bit more Zoo Tycoon 2. Alright, so I thought long and hard about what I wanted this next zoo to be. You know, what theme we should do. And actually, our idea comes to us from a commenter named, I think it was Chronomon HD or something like that. And what they suggested was to do something called Pleistocene Park. Now, I really like this idea because as I'm sure most of you guys probably know, Pleistocene Park is kind of something that could be real very, very soon, you know? There's a natural park up in Siberia that's like, it's already basically being like turned back into, into what it would have looked like during an ice age, you know? They're importing like caribou and musk ox and all these animals to like refertilize the soil and, and it's kind of blooming, you know? It's like this nice green oasis in the middle of a tundra. And the plan for scientists is that if they ever succeed in, uh, in recreating mammoths, you know, uh, that's where they're gonna set them loose, set them free, you know? So, I think that sounds like the coolest thing ever. And I think it'd be real cool to, uh, to do a zoo kind of themed after that. So, here is the map that we're dealing with. Uh... I actually really like this. I like that we have to work around a couple obstacles. I like that we have these little islands. I think we could get some really cool exhibits going. Alright, so the idea for this park is, you know, we're not going to limit ourselves to just the Pleistocene, but it's generally going to be, you know, the era after the dinosaurs, you know? So we're going to have anything from the Cenozoic, uh, the Miocene, the Pleistocene, all that kind of stuff. Mammoths, woolly rhinos, terror birds... You know, I think it's going to be pretty darn cool. So, obviously I didn't actually start any setup quite yet, as you can see. I thought we would just start it off with an exhibit, you know, nothing too fancy, but just something to get us started. Um, and hopefully you guys can uh, comment what animals you want to see, because, you know, unlike the Jurassic World series, everything's kind of up in the air, you know? Like, uh, admittedly I have a few ideas for, like, the islands and stuff like that. But if you guys have any ideas of your own, please feel free to leave them. Uh, I'm very much open to suggestions. I want to involve you guys in the creation of this zoo. But that all said, because there's obviously no way for me to get your opinions for the first exhibit, I've already planned that out. And the way I want to start this zoo is with the, not the Wolverine. Let me find you here. There you are. I want to start it with the Woolly Rhino. This guy was always one of my favorites when I was younger, and I think it'd be really cool to get an exhibit going for him. Now, I think for the Woolly Rhino, it's gonna be it's gonna be one of our less experimental exhibits per se. Uh, I really just want kind of a nice, a nice calm pasture. Just right as you walk in, you automatically get hit with your first prehistoric animal. You know, like you just see, whoa, this park means business. You know, so. Uh, I want to use this fence right here, I think. Let's just do it right here. And yeah, it's just a nice open plains. Like, I'm I'm really excited to actually like, get through the zoo, I think. Because, like, while I had a blast doing Jurassic World, uh, there was always just kind of a limit as to what I could do because I was trying to, trying to hold on to, like, the... Not the, really the criteria, but, like, the general idea of the exhibits laid out on, like, the website and, like, what we saw in the movie and, you know, all that. Whereas here, like, we're getting a lot more creative freedom. So, let's take a look. Um, uh, is there... Yeah, it's weird. Is, uh, with Radical Remake, I guess we don't really get snow for the tundra. It's much more of, like, an actual grassy plain, which is, I guess, a little bit strange. But, you know, whatever. Alright, uh, the idea, though, is I do want a bunch of, like, I guess, rock creeping in. Uh, I want only, like, a part of it to actually be, like, the, like, the tundra plains or whatever you want to call it. Alright, thankfully we have, like, a lot of plants to work with, so that's good. Um, let's see here. Give them a nice shelter right over there. Yeah, we're definitely going to have a lot of glaciers all around the park. Like, I might actually go through the map and just, like, you know, like, 
drop them around because they just fit really well as just decorations, you know? And I know, like, some of them melt away and stuff, and I think it'll just look really cool. But, uh, but you know, we'll do get to that later. Um, let's see here. Scratching post, sure. Yeah, this is going to be, like, a really straightforward exhibit, I think. Uh, just something to start us off, like I keep saying. In case you guys can't tell, I kind of came into this just, like, out of nowhere, you know, just like, yeah, I, I feel like making a Wooly Rhino exhibit. Let's, let's make it for the zoo. Well, actually, you know, I take that back. We, what we can do is we can, uh, I know all rhino exhibits that I personally have seen in, uh, in zoos and such have kind of a protective barrier on the outside. So maybe we can work with that now that I think about it. Uh, it's, it's not much, but it's something to just help the exhibit stand out, I guess. Uh, let's see, we already have toys, we have food. Right, first, let's decorate this place, though. Alright. Uh, see, I don't want snowy trees in this one, you know? I think, I think it's going to be mainly low-growing grasses and stuff right here. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Yeah, low-growing shrubbery and grasses and, and all that. Just like a nice, I don't even want to say lush, but just like a nice plains for our, for our rhinos. Alright, what do you guys look like? Alright, yeah, like that's fine. But, uh, not, not as good as those to just like hold the board on their own. There we go. That, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, I'm alright with that. Uh, let's see. Ooh, ooh, I like these. Does that look good, just like, sort of on its own in the middle? Yeah, yeah I think it does. I guess I'm kind of doing it weird, almost like... No, no, you know what? I dig it. I dig it. Like, I guess the original idea would have been that, like, you know, this is where it's lush and it's kind of creeping out. I guess the idea also could be that it's, like, launching a full-on assault here. Whereas, like, over here, you know, the rhinos are already grazing. And, like... And because of that, it's dwindling a little bit. Oh, hell yeah. Arctic moss. Can I get away with putting you there? Yes, I can. Yeah, yeah, I feel like this stuff looks desolate enough that I could just, like, slap it, you know, around here. And it wouldn't look too out of place. Alright, sweet, 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 sweet. How about some rocks? Yeah. And then do we want any water in here? Maybe. small pond like right there but like really small like this is just like like that perfect oasis for like one or two rhinos you know uh, I feel like it's missing something though you know like every exhibit should have like that one thing I feel like that that just sets it apart from the crowd and it this just doesn't have that quite yet I want to pull this stuff in maybe a little bit more. What, what do you look like? No. I think we already have enough of you over there. Oh, I kind of like you. Just that little bit of color right here. And hopefully that's visible to like a first person point of view. Let's take a look from over here, see what what this would look like. 
Oh, wait, you know what? I think I might I might have an idea of what to put right in the back. I don't know how good they'll look. But something like this. Just to make it look a little more natural. Yeah, that especially looks good, like, right there. Alright, there we go, there we go. Alright, let's take a look. Yeah, that's already better. You know, like, like you could still tell that it's a pen and all, but, like, I am gonna... Hold on. Ah, uh, it's not working quite as well as I hoped it would. I was hoping to, like... Oh, wait, there we go, there we go. Yeah, just try to smooth those edges out, you know, where, like where it crosses over okay so there's that um and i think what we need to do as well is just like yeah have that like one kind of protected border outside of it with probably these kinds of fences let me see if there's anything better Sagara fence that's what we just used Marble wall, no. Elephant fences, <laughs> that'll come in handy later. Yeah, probably just those logs, honestly. And, I don't know, do I want to, like, just do that from the inside or, or from the outside? I guess from the outside could work. Like, around there. Yeah, yeah, let's try that. And, like, you know, this wouldn't be for every exhibit, but, like, rhinos, yeah, I think we need that extra little, like, layer of protection, if you will. Oh, that was an accident. Okay, there we go, there we go. Um, you know, I'm gonna replace this as well. I think we could get better than just like a regular asphalt path. Uh, okay, what looks Pleistocene? Tundra path, nah, that's a little too, too on the nose. Uh, no. Oh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, you don't look half bad. Uh, yeah, alright. I might change that in a bit. That's sort of bothering me. I'm not sure. Alright, let's see here. You know what? No, no, no. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it with water. I think that'll look a little cooler. Kind of like this trench. No, it's gotta be deep water, though. That's the only way this is gonna work. that in a second. Okay, there we go. Might have to put some binoculars in there for some of the guests. Which, you know, it's fine. It's doable. We got them. We can do that. We can get away with it wherever the binoculars might be. There we go. Other way, ideally. Okay. 
Yeah, that doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad. Let's just check this out again real quick just to make sure aesthetically everything looks good. I can deal with that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright, and that just leaves getting ourselves a rhino. Do I want two rhinos? I don't know. I think I might just keep the one, maybe. Nah, I think we'll get we'll give him one more. We'll give him a mate. If anything, if we do an Elasmatherium later, I think I'll keep him solo. But uh but not these guys. I'll let them have a family. Ah, looks so nice. Hey guys. Man, you guys are just uh, staring down that ring or ring post, the uh, scratching post, huh? Please tell me you can move. I mean, if not, we'll just replace your you guys in the exhibit with uh, with someone else. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, there we go. It always just weirds me out when they when they just like stand there and they don't move up oh, and still nothing. And like there's no reason that they wouldn't move, you know, because like they would probably just be based on like the rhinos in the game, right? Okay, this is a little a little fishy. Alright, well, we're just going to take a look at these guys for another minute here, just to make sure they can, like, actually move. I really don't want another situation like, yeah, like in Jurassic World, where, where the models are just glitched, and because of that we can't do anything. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, there we go. We're good. We're good. They're moving. Okay. Just always get nervous about that. Okay, anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Um... I think, I think I'm gonna start another game up soon as well. Uh, Pokemon Sage just came out with a demo. I might try to play through that probably sometime. Well, I guess if I'm posting this, if I'm posting this on on the day that I'm planning to post it. I'm gonna be playing through that later today. And if not, then I'm gonna play it later tomorrow. That doesn't make any sense to you guys, but it makes sense to me. Okay, there we go. Thank you guys for joining me. Please leave me some suggestions. What animals do you want to see here in our Pleistocene Park? Uh, what exhibit ideas do you have? I know I have a few. I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say. All right. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys all next time.